Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. So it's a winter wonderland, and I'm breathing hard because I'm yeah you know, I'm always a little bit in a rush. Like I get to places right on time, but what's that dog now? But I uh, he's thriving in this bag right now. By the way, his fur is great. But I'm rushing to go work out, and I usually have like a set timeline. And obviously, the snow kind of messes that up. But I was like, you know what? Let me shovel because. I gotta get my car out, my brother has to get the car out, my mom, stuff like that. So I start shoveling and I'm trying to do it in a rush. So I'm speeding it up and I'm like, hey, that's a lot of snow. Hey, I'm getting tired, you know what? It's kinda nice. Am I sweating? Alright. This is my workout right now. So I start like, alright, let's do 10 on one arm. Alright, let's do 10 on the other arm. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me do my neighbor's yard. Start doing the neighbors. And they start doing the alley too. Like I, I did everything. Did everything. I'm tired. My arms hurt. And I'm still gonna go work out. Probably not as much. I can probably run like not as much. <laughs> but excuse me. But uh everyone in Chicago stay safe. But uh last day of the juice cleanse. Also a little caveat, I thought or oh, I was supposed to start my juice cleanse on Monday. So Monday through Thursday to do my juice cleanse. Now I'm still doing all the juice today, but I'm probably gonna eat at like seven or eight because I already have plans scheduled from last weekend. This Friday I spend with my family because I have two more days left here, Friday and Saturday, and then I leave on Sunday. So I really wanna enjoy this moment uh, or these moments with my family. And I don't wanna just sit there eating juice or drinking juice. So doing that, about three and a half day cleanse for me if you wanna say, but it's been a journey. And I had a lot of energy to do this. I don't like, that was a really nice show with this. Brought up old memories of me when I was a kid going from yard to yard to see if they'll pay me to start shoveling. And sometimes they didn't pay me. <laughs> also, with that being said, day four. <laughs> yeah, and I hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Darkness. What is up, everyone? I just got a haircut and I feel good. I look good. Or I hope I look good. But either way, I think I look good, which makes me feel good. And I am halfway in my juice cleanse. Halfway in the day, 4.4. .4. This is where the complaining starts coming. And not because I'm hungry, not because I want food, for sure, both. But this was the only drink, and I really didn't want to have to do this. Every drink that I've had has been good. And if not for the most part, has been definitely edible, where I'm like, it's not like tasty or delicious, or like, oh my gosh, I can drink this every day. It's like, all right, cool, it's the green juice, or it's celery, or like, all right, that's fair, I can do that. This though, Royal Purp, is the only drink I don't like. This is the only drink I don't like. It's just, again, my preference. I know there's honey in here, and that's fine. I love honey. But there's something mixed with the honey, and I can't, again, there's all these different, you know, vegetables and fruits and, you know, things in there, but I don't know what's in there with the honey that just doesn't sit well with me. Like, taste-wise. I, I just... This is the only drink I don't like. And I'm glad this is on day four. Compared to if I had to drink this on day one, I would have been upset. Because I'm like, yo, I got... I got three more days to do this? This? Like, this is the only drink I don't like. Now, it's not like, ugh, but... I've had this for like half an hour like this. So, it's... It's taken me a while. But every other drink's good. But it's my like a plate. It's my like a plate. But, yeah, that's my opinion. But overall... I'm definitely excited to eat. But oh man, I look good. I'm, I'm so happy. Oh, uh, you ever get a haircut for the gentleman? You ever get a haircut and it's just like, man, fresh fade, new shorty. Who's this? Oh, sorry, wrong number. Ah, I, I got better things to do. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Correction. This is the second drink I don't like, but that's also because this is meant to be strong, and it's, it's called kill shot. It makes nothing but sense because this thing is murderous. I literally took this little itty bitty dose and I was like, da, da, <coughs> like it was legit, strong. Oh my gosh, high vibe. You're really trying to like end this in a high note, huh? <sighs> Two more to go. Let's get it. What is up, guys? So I'm on my final meal or juice of uh, of this trip. And this is purple sea moss and I like it this is very very sweet it's my baby food but it's pretty much 7 p.m. here on Friday um, as I said earlier 
I am now gonna eat after this and I'm not gonna immediately eat after this I'm gonna eat maybe in like an hour or two I don't know what I'm gonna eat maybe I'll film it maybe I won't but with that being said this is a very doable thing and uh, I'm surprised it went as smoothly as it did I got to work out four times in four days one of the days I doubled up one of the days I rested um, I sweated a lot or sweat sweated sweated is that a word anyways I did a lot of sweating <laughs> and um, it just went really well I had more energy for the most part than I expected except for that one day um, where you're only supposed to spread this out nine to ten hours I spread it out what was it like 18 hours that day so that was that was a bad day just for me in general because i woke up at six in the morning and i finished my workout at like two in the morning or something like that with that being said this has been all mental yes i'm hungry sometimes yes i drink juice and i'm hungry after or this and i'm hungry after but it's been mental where i can say no and also saying no to people in front of me and also family because that's really hard to do especially coming from a latin household or latino household where people want to feed you force feed you it's, it's a lot man it's really hard to say no because it's freaking delicious oh, i miss it but another reason why i still live at home but with that being said it taught me that i could say no in multiple different scenarios not just when food's in front of you, but when people are trying to make food for me, trying to be polite, trying to do this, trying to do that. So it really taught me a lot, really about myself. Um, so just maybe, again, I'm talking to myself, just know that if I can do it, you can do it too. And I believe you can do it, whether I'm an athlete, whether, yeah, I have my discipline in my own nature, but trust me, food is my kryptonite. Except some people, you know, alcohol or, or sweets or drugs or whatever the case may be is their kryptonite food is my kryptonite so being able to say no in really hard situations like that was extremely difficult because oh my gosh oh my gosh i was thinking about it so much of like oh if i eat no one's gonna know uh, i can have those cookies i can do this oh people won't care like they'll do it no man i need to be a prime example and worse and worse i'm gonna know i'm gonna know and i'm gonna feel bad about it i don't want to do that but I am going out tonight, so I am going to eat. <laughs> but I also have two days left here, so I want to enjoy time with people, you know, close to me and my family. But, man, just, just know you can do this. High vibe. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm finishing this, and I'm done. And, man, this was a journey. If you guys are interested in this, I will leave all the stuff, the link in my bio or um, in the description below. And on Instagram, the link in my bio, all that stuff. Um, or even on my story of a discount code if you guys are interested in this stuff, especially in the Chicagoland neighborhood. And um, you saw my body. You saw how it changed up. It adapted. I got skinnier. I got leaner. And also, I didn't check my weight when it comes to actual number because I lose water weight generally. This is all juice. Um, I leaned out. And then I checked my weight for the fun of it. I thought I was going to be in the 60s because I usually am in the 60s. I weigh about 63 to 65, 165 naturally. I weighed about 157 at night after all the liquids. And I'm like... I haven't been like that naturally this far in a fight camp. I haven't even started my camp. Like, this is awesome. So I'm a lot leaner naturally now. And I can definitely tell you before this cleanse, I was eating some great stuff. <laughs> so I needed this. And now to start my training camp better, I feel a lot more enthusiastic about it. I'm still going to be tired, but I'm training. But physically, I feel better. And I know my body's going to adapt to it a lot faster instead of going 0 to 100 and then I can't be productive. Right now, maybe at 50, 60% because I took care of this. Now I need to, and I took care of this, which is huge, but now I need to get that conditioning back and do this and do that. So, man, I appreciate all the love and support, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. High vibe. And uh, no, this, this helped out. If you're disciplined enough, you will do it. If you want to achieve your goals, you will do it. If you don't, then you'll make every single excuse not to. So give that a peace of mind and kind of go from there cheers guys <laughs>